Good morning, St. Luke, on this Good Friday morning. We begin our little devotion this morning with our Luther's morning prayer, which I find very comforting, uh, especially in this time. <clears throat> in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger, and I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings in life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body, and my soul, and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Um, what I'd like to do this morning is, I'm just going to have uh, one verse from Isaiah. Speak real quickly. Um, about about the verse, and then I want to pray. Um, I just want to do prayer this morning. Um, so, from Isaiah 53, verse 5, But he was wounded for our transgressions, bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. And um, so for... He was wounded for our transgressions, bruised for all our iniquity. So, and we know what Good Friday is about, how Jesus went to the cross, how he was tortured and humiliated and hung on the cross and all the pain that he went through. And he was wounded because we were wounded with sin. And he was wounded for us uh, to make us one with uh, the Father again. And he heals our wounds. He heals our wounds of sin. And in this life, we hope and we pray that he heals our physical and mental uh, wounds. And, you know, maybe they won't be healed in this life. Um, but they'll be healed on the other side uh, of this life when we take our last breath. So this morning, what I'd like to do is I'd like to pray um, almost like the prayers of the church uh, with all the stuff going on. So let us pray. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Gracious God and Heavenly Father, we just come to you with heavy hearts, with worried and anxious hearts and minds. And this morning, I, I'd like to pray for, and I pray to you about uh, all those who are suffering for with, with this um, COVID-19 virus, all those in the hospital, all those that are at home, all those who are in intensive care, all those who are in grave condition as they wait to cross over this life to new life with you. Lord, I'd like to pray for those in our St. Luke uh, family or, or friends. We pray for Andy Franzman. We pray for Ken Lockridge. We pray for Diane and Michael Astahenos. And Lord, we pray for uh, Pastor Matthew Gonzalez from Trinity Lutheran Church in the Bronx. We pray for Pastor Anthony Giordano from East Meadow, uh, Calvary East Meadow. Lord, we pray for the family of a friend of mine, my former neighbor, um, and uh, Bill Hart. Uh, we pray for his family as he has succumbed to the COVID virus after many months of being ill with, with other health related problems. And Lord, we pray for all the families of those who have lost loved ones as a result of this virus. Lord, we just pray for them as there is no closure for them, as there is no, that, that they were separated from their loved ones at this time. And Lord, we just ask you to bring them peace in their grief. May they know the hope that we have in you. And Lord, I just pray for all the families of those who are affected uh, as they worry about and se they are separated from their loved ones who are in the hospital. Lord, I pray for all the healthcare workers, the doctors, the nurses, the therapists. We, we give thanks and we pray for all those who have come from all over the country to come to New York here and, and to, um, to treat our people, to treat our friends, to treat our New York family, Lord. Lord, just be with all of those in the all those who work in the hospitals, from administration to housekeeping, because they are walking around the halls of those hospitals and exposing themselves and 
um, to this virus, Lord. Lord, we pray for all first responders, our police, our firefighters, and our EMTs who are responding and once again putting their lives on the line to bring, for just in general, Lord, but also to, to bring those patients and treat those patients with COVID-19. Lord, we pray for our government officials. We pray for our president. We pray for our governor. We pray for our all the rest of our federal, state, and local officials, Lord, as they, um, as they um, bring plans together to um, try to put a halt to this and try to flatten the curve and make the curve go downhill, Lord. Just be with them, Lord, and may the Holy Spirit guide their actions. Lord, we pray for all our service workers, our uh, those in the fast food industry that are cooking our food, those that are in supermarkets that uh, at a great risk to themselves, they, they continue to work. We give thanks to those um, employers that have re compensated their uh, employees, like Aldi's, Lord. We give thanks for them for the recognizing the hard work and the danger that their employees are in. Lord, we pray for those who anxious, anxious, anxiously await the results of tests, Lord. Be with them, Lord, Father God, as they await and, and, and pray that um, they don't test positive. Lord, we also pray for um, Amanda Fenty and her family, Lord, as she, uh, she tested positive, but thanks be to God that she has no symptoms at this time or well, last time I spoke to her. So we also include her in our prayers. We pray for all that are anxious and depressed and worried and about the world right now and where it is and anxious and depressed and worried about their own future illness and illness and, and their family's illnesses. Lord, be, be their comfort, Father. Lord, we pray for all those who are in recovery from addictions because many of their um, recovery programs are um, gone, unable to go, Lord. Uh, or maybe some of them don't have the means of, uh, of an iPhone or a phone or a computer to have uh, virtual meetings with their recovery group. So we pray for them. Lord, we pray for our St. Luke families during this time and how much I miss them. And I'm sure they miss being at St. Luke, Lord. But uh, Lord, may your angels protect them during this time. Lord, we pray for all pastors uh, we pray for my fellow pastors, Lord. We pray for all my fellow church workers. Lord, we pray for our, all of our churches, especially those churches in the Atlantic District that are vacant, Lord, that don't have pastoral leadership at this time. So we just ask that uh, you would send strong leaders there in those congregations to lead them through. And Lord, we pray for those pastors that may be assisting in those congregations. Lord, we pray for our churches, especially the vacant ones, Lord, that you would send them uh, pastors quickly. We pray for Derek, our bishop, uh, and all that he is doing along with the presidium, all the leadership of our district. Lord, as they make decisions during this, this difficult decisions during this time, uh, we pray for our, our church body, the Lutheran Church, Missouri Synod, and its, and its leadership, Lord, um, that they may lead us forward during this time. Lord, we pray for all those who may be suffering from loss of work, loss of income, uh, Lord, that you would uh, help them get through this time. Lord, may, may we as a St. Luke and, and as Lutheran Church, Missouri Synod as a church body, uh, be there for them and to give them assistance and help them guide them through the processes that need to be done to um, help sustain their families financially. We pray for all our Christian brothers and sisters, all who proclaim Jesus Christ this day uh, as he as he as he hung on the cross. Well, Lord, we pray for the day where we, may, we will be united as one. Lord, we pray for all those who do not know you as Lord and Savior. Lord, we pray that by the, the hearing of the gospel, especially in our actions and our words, these the, the today and in the weeks to come or the weeks past, that they, they come to you, Lord, as, and le learn that you are the way, the truth, and the life. Lord, we just, I just pray for my own family, Lord. I give thanks for them, Lord, as they, um, and as I uh, go through all this stuff, Lord, I just ask you, Heavenly Father, for support for myself and my family and all the families, Lord. Lord, all, that we ask, all this we ask in your precious name. Amen. Receive the blessing of Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit.
Amen.